It's time to rank some stuff. Yes, the internet loves ranking. This time around, we're going to be ranking Spider-Man villains. Oh my goodness. Some people say the best rogues gallery in all of comics. Some say Batman's is. I said some people. I didn't say all people. Some say it's Captain America's rogues gallery. Red Skull. That's it. I was going to say another guy who's like an evil Captain America. Yeah, the guy who does the big kicks on the boat. Oh, okay. Remember big kick on the boat, man? <laughs> yep, I do yeah. remember him. Yeah, but yeah. then he got kicked with a bigger kick and he fell off the boat. Yes. And he's dead now. Those are all S tier. So yeah. I've covered that, That's obviously. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be talking about... I was going to say most. It's not most. A lot of classic Spider-Man villains. Now, bear in mind, folks, we are going to miss your favourite and it's on purpose. That's right. But it's not Big Wheel. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So leave a like if you could. Uh, we're going to kick things off with Rhino. Oh, yeah, okay. Now, guy sewn into a Rhino suit of sorts, mm-hmm. or sometimes it's a mechanical suit. We're just doing vaguely, okay? Sometimes it's Paul Giamatti. Sometimes it is. And he's wildly drunk because he went on that winery tour with Sandman. Do you remember that? I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a dangerous combination. Completely agree. I feel like Rhino's kind of a B-tier Spider-Man villain. Okay. Somebody somebody else sends to beat up Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, okay. But I think Rhino also probably has like a personal grievance against Spider-Man because he's been... Beaten Beaten up up so many times. times, But I guess we can't factor that in every time because almost all (laughs) Spider-Man villains probably have that. You've beaten me up 50 times (laughs) of your decades-long career. And I'm mad about it. I'm going to give him a B, though, based on these, uh, how I feel about him being a, a B-tier villain. Okay, that I mean, makes sense. Because when, when he shows up, Spider-Man's not like, oh, my God, no. It's the rhino. He's like, He's like okay, uh, this guy. the rhino again. <laughs> yeah. I'll web his face and he'll be like, I can't see, but I'm still going to get your spot. And then he'll run off a bridge or whatever. Exactly. And you've got yeah, you're right. Look, I would give him a C-tier, but... He's committed to the suit. Oh yeah, like he lives in that now, and yeah. I and I gotta respect that. I think so. B tier is perfectly fine. Next up, we've got another guy sewn into the suit. Oh yeah, Scorpion. There's gonna be a lot of guys sewn in the suits. <laughs> I think. I feel like there's more tragedy involved because it's definitively like a mechanical thing that he's like put into. Okay, right? sure, it seems sure, sure. more uncomfortable than a rhino suit. Mm. Is my point. Yeah, yeah. Got that laser in the stinger. That's, That's a bit true. of fun. Bit of yep. fun. Mm. Um, Sometimes he's just a guy in a prison with a scorpion tattoo. That's true. That's fun. Yeah. I would say a level below Rhino even. Yeah, I think he's a C list. I, yeah. I, you know, again, you you write personal animus aside. He's usually just a guy robbing banks. Yep. Or hired muscle or mm-hmm, something like mm-hmm. that. He's someone we're going to be seeing. Craven the Hunter. Oh, yes. But I know you're thinking, he's a good guy. He's got the movie coming up and he seems like a nice, animal-loving man. Well, wrong, idiot. Yeah. They got it wrong. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We've read the comics. Mm-hmm. You haven't. Neither of the filmmakers, <laughs> I'm guessing. Anyway, he's a maniac, a big game hunter. I would say he was one of Spider-Man's more dangerous villains before like Carnage and Venom and that showed up. Sure. You mm-hmm. would always be tangling with him. Sometimes he... Puts what? him in his grave. Sometimes he puts him in his grave. <laughs> And that's, I mean, that's good, right? Yeah. But then what has he done for us since? That's true. Mm. I mean, he's got laser nipples, doesn't he, at one point? Sometimes he's got laser line nipples, absolutely, yeah. and that's cool. He's probably an A, yeah. Mm. And he's, he's doing a lot with a little, you know what I mean? Yep. He can't lift 100 tonnes. No. But he's still, you know, he's still a dangerous villain. He can eat a room full of spiders. He did do that once, remember? Oh, that's true, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Next up, we got an earlier one. Chameleon. Sure, okay. A guy who can look like other guys. Was this maybe Spider-Man's first costume villain? I believe it was, yes. Okay, all right. So I think early on it was just like I could look like somebody else, It was a series of rubber masks, yes. Yeah. But then later he got like mouldy plastic flesh and he can... Can he replicate... holograms Can he replicate powers? No. Okay. No. That's not cool. That's not cool, is it? Yeah. One time he was behind bringing back Peter Parker's parents. Do you remember that? Oh, when they were robots? They were robots. Uh, So that's, you know, that's pretty sinister. That's a bit of fun. One time he was Peter Parker's bus driver in Europe. (laughs) That's true, yeah. That guy was chameleon. That's undeniable. That's true. Look, I like the power set. I think that's cool. I like a master of disguise. That's a bit of fun. However, I feel like... He is surviving on the good graces of Spider-Man, not just punching his head off. Fair. You know what? Yeah. Because all you have to do is be like, I see through your tricks, Chameleon. I know it's you. Head's coming off. Dead. You so know? you're saying a D. Yeah, I think a D. Wow. For dead brackets, you could be <laughs> Chameleon. <laughs> Next up, now people might think of this uh, this character as a Daredevil villain, which he's more kind of transitioned into. But the Kingpin oh, yes. started as a Spider-Man mob boss type person. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think this is an S. One of the best, you say? Yeah, I think so. Justify your your, uh, your judgment there, James. Okay, well, he's he's the king of crime. Sometimes he's like, I'm the mayor now. And they're like, you should be in jail. And he's like, well, I'm not. That's right. And in fact, I'm changing the law so I can never be in jail. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. But he's giving everybody a run for their money. He's basically like... 
mob enforcer Lex Luthor. That's true. And he's giant. So you're not thinking an S? Talk about a lot with a little. Technically not super powered. Yeah. Though also insanely like elephant strong sometimes. Yeah, yeah, and proficient in judo probably. That's true. And other Eastern arts. Sometimes he's Michael Clark Duncan. Sometimes he is. Yeah. Sometimes he's a different guy. Vinny D'Onofrio. I mean, sometimes. Sometimes he's Jonathan Rhys Davies. Is he? From the Daredevil Hulk mini movie in the 80s. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. I'm going S. Yeah, no, I think you're absolutely right. And also, he's got the, he's got the behind-the-scenes machinations. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, Next up, we've got Vulture. Again, hampered by the fact that Spider-Man could probably breathe hard on him and he'd snap like a twig. Because he's 100? Because he's 100. But sometimes he's sharp-bladed Vulture. That's true. Sometimes he's enormous Vulture, you know, mm. flight suit situation. Yeah. He's the delightful Michael Keaton. That's pretty good. But he's still 100. Yeah, no, he's always true. kind of a hundred, isn't <laughs> yeah. he? Or no, sometimes sometimes he's youthified. That's true. Sometimes it's Lady Vulture. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Spider-Man 4 was going to be Voltress at one point. That's right. <laughs> See? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, but then again, I found him in the movie that he was in pretty terrifying. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was almost like Doc Ock in terms of like, this is almost an impenetrable situation that he's built. Yeah. Now, at this point, folks, if you're wondering which versions of each of these characters... It's we're whatever. Favoring, it's whatever we feel like, <laughs> and you can't stop us. It's whatever springs to mind first, which is the last one we saw. Yeah, no, I love... Uh, look, honestly, I love that particular version of the suit mm. with, the, like, the giant, like, fan situation in the wings and, like, the fur collar jacket. Good look. Now, we met Morbius... Has, how does that's that make true, you and feel? that must have been something to do with Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. So that's got to put him up there, I reckon. We doing B then? I think we'll put him in a B. Yeah. All right. What about Mysterio? Ooh. Big fan of Mysterio. Uh-huh. Sometimes he makes everybody kill each other. That's true. He did that to Old Man Logan. Sometimes he's like a, a funny special effects kind of guy, and it's like all yeah. lighthearted. And look, it's a hologram of a snake and a smoke machine. Sometimes he's like, I'm dying and I'm taking it out on you, daredevil. And comics readers are like, why? <laughs> It's never adequately explained. Daredevil's never met you, right? <laughs> what are you doing? Inherently quite ridiculous. Yep. He's fighting back against that. So anytime he does performs anything impressive mm-hmm. or gets away with anything, I'm like, good job, buddy. Yep. You're really working hard here. Completely agree. You know? I'm going to say A. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. And I think in Far From Home, I think that really increased his... Uh, I mean, he had a whole lot of holograms, didn't he? That's true. Spider-Man didn't know who to punch or look at. That's true. I think that really increased his... Uh, his I was going to say his worth, but also his self-worth. No but he doubt. felt pretty great at a certain point. Yeah, definitely. What about Man-Wolf, who's J. Jonah Jameson's son, who was an astronaut who went to the moon and got a... Space werewolf virus that turned him into the man wolf. Love that. Yep. But F, obviously. <laughs> F? Yes. What have you seen him in lately? No, no. I mean, bleh. Thank you. I mean, I think an E is more generous. Well, I'm not feeling generous. <laughs> okay, fine. Hey, it's your call, man. I'm it's not going to fight you on it. It's F furry old loser. Yeah, okay. That's what I'm saying. Fair enough. What about an antihero in Black Cat? Sure, okay. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, is this even a villain at this point? I mean, you could say this for a fair amount of these. They all, like, Venom's an anti-hero now, That's whatever yeah. we'll do next. Is a love triangle inherently villainous? Yes. I would say yes. <laughs> it's very sinister. <laughs> sort yourselves out. Yeah, what, what are you I'm doing? Saying. Come on. Who's kissing who? What is this? Right? Yeah. But she's, she's also right on that knife edge of, like, I don't know, she is a criminal, but I want to do kisses on her, so That's I true. guess I'm going to let her go this time. Yeah. I think she's a B, actually. You think she's mid? Yeah. Well, wow. B's not mid. He's good. Yeah, sure. I mean, it is right in the middle of the tier list. No, it's not. It's close. No, it's not. All right, it's not. What about this one? Okay. Venom. Okay, sure, love it. I would say I don't really like any of the live-action versions that much. Mm -hmm, I mean, they're doing it. Yeah. And he's real gooey. Mm -hmm, I like that. Mm -hmm. But I think in terms of an impact that he made when he appeared on the scene, powerful imagery as well. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Great design. Great design. Phenomenal design. Yeah. Yeah, look, the most recent version, the Tom Hardy version... Enjoy it. I enjoy Tom Hardy's conversations with himself. I like him in it, but yeah. I don't like those movies. And if you were to say, if you were to say to someone who isn't unfamiliar with that universe, yeah, he's Spider Man's greatest nemesis. They'd yeah. be like, "Why?" Because <laughs> they sort of look the same. Yeah, they sort of look is the that, same. Is that why? Somebody, yeah. One guy thinks the other guy's stealing his look, but you're absolutely right. In the comic books, are you saying that's s- bringing him down from an S to an A potentially? Oh, I might be saying that. Okay. Great skill set. Got in that lobster tank. Got in that lobster tank. He's putting the work in. Yeah, he's putting the work in. You know? Maybe it's an S. It's an S, right? All right, fine. Yeah, all yeah. right. Plus then all the symbiote gods and whatever, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, He's that's all true. out in space nah, and whatever. Nah, nah. And Bernie's Carnage's dad or mum. All right, let's do, let's do Carnage then. Okay. 
A, uh, Venom, but it's more of a psycho. Yeah. Also, we're not doing the Venom Carnage symbiote family tree here. This is it. We're stopping okay, right. here, okay? Okay. We're not right. doing Toxin and Pulse, if there's one. I don't know. Pulse. I don't know all their names. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, Yellow Venom, Blue yeah. Venom. Again, iconic design, yep. great idea. What's he done lately? Well, he was in that movie. Yeah, it wasn't very good, was yeah, it? Yeah, right. Okay, so would you say even a B? I might even say lower, but your call on this one, I think. I'm going to say a B. Okay, great. Because, you know, serial killer mm. with the venom powers. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I like yeah. that idea. What about Mephisto? And I bring him up. Yes. The devil, but also made Spider-Man and Mary Jane get a divorce. Yeah, look, can we include, <laughs> uh, let's include in Mephisto the writers that ruined Spider-Man. Okay. For, for quite a lot of years, I think. All right. I F. mean, in terms of villainy... I guess that's an A, a I mean, or an S. That's true. Because it made a lot of people hate Spider-Man. Yeah. But also ruined his life. That's true. For years. For years. I'm going to say S tier. <laughs> yeah. That's a crazy thing to say, but I'm with you. Great. I love that. <laughs> now, again, we're not going to do all of these because there's so many. Green Goblin. I mean, standard. which Green Goblin? Norman Osborn. Norman Osborn. Okay. We'll just keep it at that. Okay. Not doing New Goblin. I think Red Goblin. Look, I, I would, Goblin. I'm willing to go... Corn of Coblin. <laughs> I'm willing to go as far as... We'll do Green Goblin and Hobgoblin. Okay, then sure. Then we'll cut it off. All right, Because we'll just be gobblinging all day, mate. <laughs> that is very and true. I cannot be doing that. That is true, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, iconic, right? I would say yes, definitely. Iconic design, yep. I would say most interpretations are really good. Yeah. Uh-huh. I know there's the Dane Dehan skin disease one, but that's mm. not Norman Osborn either, is it? No, that's no. Harry Osborn. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to say yes, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe, for sure, yep. Man, you wouldn't want him to be your Dafoe. You'd want him to be your friend. Great you know? stuff. Uh, and look, and, you know, in the comic books, has been a threat to the just entire world. Just harassing you know? him for just years. Just a real, just a real. He's real. like his Lex Luthor. That's true. Yeah. Real jerk. Real jerk, yeah. Also, evenly matched in terms of punching abilities. Which is perfect for a big punch up. Good build up of the character in his initial version, which was like, who's this guy? Yeah. And then one half of the creative team was like, it should be Norman Osborne. And the other half of the creative team was just like, nah, it could be anybody. <laughs> just say it's a guy. <laughs> Flipped a coin, made the right call, I think. Completely agree. What about the lizard? Oh, yes. I like him. Yeah. It's quite lizardy. Yeah. I which think... I think works to his charm, you know? Yeah. I mean, the name. Mm. You know, they go together. They do the name they, and the and the, like the visual. If he was like called the turtle and he looked like this, you'd be yeah. like, I don't know what you've done here. I mean, speaking of, mm. what about that weird design in the Amazing Spider Man? What Where do you he think? He looks about like that? a turtle? Yeah. Out of his shell? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's there's only a... there's only one proper version of the lizard and he's got the snout yeah. and he's got the lab coat and he's got the purple pants. He's taken a page out of the Hulk's book and he's got purple pants because he's a scientist. And that's the law in the Marvel universe. Okay, I like all of that. Mm-hmm. I like the tragedy behind him as well. Just wants another arm. Sure. But that's not a huge tragedy. Ah, oh, but other things probably happen to him, didn't they? It's not a Mr. Freeze style tragedy. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh, I've got a dead wife. Well, I've got a dead arm. I've been sitting on it for too long. I think he's a. a. How do you feel about uh, when he gets too big? Uh, in uh, the Spider Man 2 video game on yeah. the PS5, he's huge. He's enormous. Yeah. yeah. He's a battleship, this dude. Yeah, I see what you mean. I mean, that's good for a video game. Yeah, uh-huh. makes a great and terrifying boss encounter. Yeah, yeah. But you probably want him like seven to eight feet tall. Mm, you know, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it gets silly, doesn't it? Gets it? Silly. We Did don't want any silly Spider-Man. He's not villains. Mr. Dinosaur, is he? No, he's the Lizard. Yeah, he's Larry Lizard. Let's write that down, Mr. Dinosaur. Let's sell that to Marvel. <laughs> Copyright us. B. Yeah, sure. Probably a bit higher. Say a high B. Okay, a Say high a B. B plus. Sure, sure, sure. But firmly in the B category. Mm. What about Electro? I mean, gun for hire. Yep. Just a guy. Mm-hmm. His origin story is that he got, he was a like an electrical linesman and he got struck by lightning and he fell onto some power lines and he got double electrified. One time some eels got him. Oh, that's true. And he stopped, he stopped being a nerd and he became a cool guy. Yeah, that's right. And he remained a cool guy. Oh, I didn't even factor in that Jamie Foxx is a real cool guy in the new, it's true. In the new Spider-Man. It's true. Yeah, that is, he is a cool guy. He's not an A though, is he? No. I think he's a C. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing how much play he's got in the movies. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> right? Yeah. He's just a classic guy who's robbing a bank for a bit. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's give him a C. Mm-hmm. That's because of Jamie Foxx. That's right. He'd be lower without Jamie Foxx. Correct. And he knows it. Yeah. Well, he's one who's even lower than that because it's like a... It's basically like... Because he's not Jamie Foxx. Well, he's not Jamie Foxx and it's basically like, what if Electro but concussive force powers? Oh, the Shocker, sure. Yeah. I love the Shocker, especially from the Spider-Man PS2 video games. Uh-huh. He's a really fun villain to fight and 
be involved uh-huh. in. Uh, but that might be just me and the other people who've played that game because he's not really in much else. He's in mm. the cartoon from the 90s. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. He yeah, pops yeah. up every now and then. But, you know, he's in, he's in his quilted little outfit. That's true. Concussive Very blasts. sensible. Yeah. Mm. Oh, he's in the movies. There's a shocker yeah. in, or maybe two shockers because one of them, Michael Keaton That's right. one yeah, of them. Yeah, now you're the shocker. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. D. Yeah, D. <laughs> Again, he's cannon fodder. Yeah. If the kingpin wants to take down Spider-Man, he's hiring one of the shockers. Yep. And it doesn't even really matter. No. If they just stole a shocker uniform out of the police evidence locker, mm-hmm. who would know? Yeah, you know? absolutely right. Well, a lot of these guys are that. I found this suit. Now I'm this thing. Yeah. Speaking of, Hobgoblin. I mean, I think of all the goblins, is he the best spin-off goblin? <laughs> I mean, he's just a palette swap, really. Yes. And sometimes he's a fashion designer. Oh. Yeah. That's right. There's a great video by our friend over at Comic Tropes. Oh, yeah. About yeah. the secret identity, right? The secret identity of the Hobgoblin, which was... Um, and how they blew it. Yeah, they absolutely <laughs> hobbled it, as it were, by, like, office politics and everybody in the Marvel offices are hating each other. Yeah. So that's a bit of fun. All right, that's a uh, I think that's worth a, I think that's worth a C, yeah, okay, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All, right. Mm. All right. Also, sometimes he's a demon. Oh, yeah, that's true. Mm. So that mask is not a mask, it's his that's face. That's correct. Wow. That's cool. How do you feel about El Muerto? <laughs> oh... Famously to be played by Bad Bunny in an upcoming movie, as far as I know. Definitely coming out. Yeah, Definitely not right. cancelled. Well, he was in like four issues of a spin off Spider Man comic book. Not even like The Amazing Spider Man or anything. It was like Spider Man on his off hours. There's no category for this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There should be a category that just says irrelevant. Where could we put it to upset the most number of people, though? S. Oh, then let's put it there. <laughs> No, I feel like S is too high because people are like, ha good joke. Oh, yeah. Let's go B. Okay, that's great. <laughs> that's really good. I can't remember if he's got superpowers or anything. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Tombstone. Okay, sure. Big albino Big Frankenstein guy. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. He's not really made of stone, though. He's yeah, just tough. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, I know. Got a lot of play in the 90s, in yep. 90s Spider-Man comic books. Has he made an appearance in the He's in the game? games, yeah. He's okay. in the first game, at least. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know him and, like, Flathead... Anvil head guy, you know, it's Hammerhead, yes. Hammerhead, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. gonna put those two together. They're mid. They're officially mid, those Whoa. guys. Again, like if Spider Man's like punching his way through the, the New York criminal underworld, he's probably gonna run into him. Yeah, he's he might have some him. trouble with him. Yeah. But he's gonna emerge on top. He'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. That's a D, right? Yeah, I think he's a D. Okay. How's about this one? Go on. Recent big deal. The spot. Sure, yeah. Mm. As voiced by Jason Schwartzman? Correct. In the movies, yeah. Okay. So, interdimensional abilities and teleportation, mm-hmm. et cetera, and so forth. Okay. Are not really a threat generally. I, I would say B because of the recent movie. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got a problem with that? I don't have a problem with that. How about this one? Go on. This one, I would, I would be shocked if you were to say anything the other. shocker. No, we did oh. him already. Oh. Anything other than an S, Doc Ock. Terrific. Yeah. I mean, in, in the comic books, if people don't know, he... Took over the life of Spider-Man. He Not did. in a single white female way. Uh, he transferred his consciousness into Peter Parker's took brain. Took over his brain, man. Yeah. And became a superior Spider-Man. For a time. Will. Yeah, that's and right. And he was like, I'm actually not very good at this. Yeah. And it's hard. And yeah. I don't like it. That's right. I'm going back to being a weird old man or a corpse or whatever he was. But he did allow Peter Parker his doctorate. Oh, yeah. Via plagiarism. Oh, That's a little no. wrinkle. Peter Parker's lost his uh, doctorate again. Embarrassing. Very embarrassing. And I think the superior Spider-Man is back. Okay, yeah, so in a different body? Maybe. God. Or it's flashbacks. I don't know. But anyway, that's a power move. That even, is an absolute boss move to take over somebody's body entirely. Totally. I think even as a villain on his own, if you mm. take away all that, I'm Spider-Man for a bit. He's still got freaky arms. All of that's great. And he's famous character actor Alfred Molina. And correct. that's absolutely delightful. Correct, correct. Now, we know we love guys who've got a big thing attached to them. Or sure. Maybe they're sitting in a big thing. Like yeah. a big wheel. Mm-hmm, How mm-hmm. do you feel about big wheel? Uh, and why great. doesn't Spider-Man just kick it over? That's a good point. Because he's so dazzled by the... Yeah. By the it's probably uh, got gyros in it as well, it's right? probably got a gyro to have it so you can't tip it over yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, you can't, you know? yeah. I think he's fun. Sure. I think he's a C. Uh, this one, again, got play on the PlayStation, Mason. Oh, Mr. Yes. Negative. That's true, yeah. I love the idea of this guy and the aesthetic I really enjoy. Mm. Uh, the dual personalities. Well, see, so here's the thing. thing. I, I maybe give him... You know, he's, he's very prominent in that first Spider-Man game, the, yep. the modern era, the PS4 one. And that's cool. That is cool. But... He's a little bit deceptive, isn't he? It's not very nice, is it? Okay, I see you what you're saying. You think he's a really nice guy. Yeah. Then he turns out to be a bad guy? Do you think Are we, you kidding me? Should we go through this list and anybody who is that, we bump him down one, maybe? No, I think he's the worst Just defender. this guy? Actually, I'm a super villain. Rude. Yeah, rude. Really rude. And I think my, we bump him down as a, as a lesson to the rest of the villains. Okay, that's a be good idea. Be more genuine. Be yeah. legit. Put it on Front Street. I'm a villain. You're saying a C or a D? Yeah. Which one? Do you have a tier for that? C or a D? No. Oh. Then D. 
D? Yeah, Mart? yeah. Okay. For deception. All right, that's and great. disappointing. Yep. Uh, disappointed I am in you, Mr. Negative. <laughs> uh, a few more to go. Morlin. The uh, vampire guy. Spider-Man sucking Spider powers. Spider-verse, like the original. I hate him. Yeah, no, not interesting. So yeah. for people that don't know in the comic books, there's there's like a family of interdimensional vampires and they're addicted to spider people blood. Yeah. So they have to go around. And it's just, he just shows up and he's like, I'm actually really tough and I'm strong and I can defeat everybody. And it's like, yeah. oh, God, this is, what a, this is a real situation yeah, I'm in. Yeah, yeah. Boring. I agreed. Yeah. E. Yeah, at least. <laughs> at least. What about Mr. Sandman? Sand me a man. Mr. The Sandman. Yeah. I like him. Me too. Yeah. He's also doing it for his kid. That's true. That's nice. I like that element that's of the, it. That, that is, you know, that's the conflict we like. Very grainy. He's so grainy. Yeah. Sometimes he can be big. Yeah. He could suck up a lot of sand. He'd be a big sand man. That's right. I'm going to say an A. No? Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I like the look. I like the look. It's a he's good look. He's got a strong look. That stripy shirt and the brown pants. I just love it when Spider-Man goes up against somebody whose powers aren't just a version of him as well. Yeah, absolutely. And you gotta you gotta think about it, you know? You gotta you gotta use, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, use yeah, your yeah. thinking. Maybe you maybe you turn him into glass, you know? Maybe you're melting him down a drain, whatever. You know? That's so true. Maybe you've got Harry Osborne to help you on a big goblin glider. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. How do you feel about Prowler? I like him. I like his gadgets. Yep. I think they're cool. I think he's got a strong look. Do you like his big scratchy hands? Yes. Yeah. I like his color combo. Oh, that's a good combo. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Depending on which version, yeah. I like his reason for being, <laughs> which is sometimes being Miles Morales' uncle and sometimes being just a guy. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. All right. An unrelated guy. B? No. Not that I don't like him that much. C? Yes. All righty. That's right. Got the last one here. We're saving the best for last. It's Dr. Michael Morbius. Oh, my God. At our service? That's right. Wow. I mean, we all know that movie, mm -hmm. but let's put that aside for a second. Yeah. Is there anything to Morbius? No. <laughs> I mean, he's a vampire guy. Of sort sorts. Of. Does he get more points or fewer points? In the animated series, they wouldn't let him suck anybody's blood with fangs, so they had to give him, like, weird octopus suckers on his hands. I would say more points. Yeah, I think more points as yeah. well. So he's a E. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's a D, right? D? Mm, for Dr. Michael Morbius? Yeah. Then yes. Okay, great. Look, that's our list. Yeah. We've obviously missed a really obvious one. No, we haven't. No, we definitely haven't. If you've got any others, what are they and where would you rank them? Where are we wrong? I can't... I'm looking at this and this doesn't seem That's wrong. pretty... It's a pretty bulletproof list, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Tombstone. That's exactly right. Yeah, but not everybody in the movie Tombstone because a lot of those people were shot. <laughs> that's right. In that movie. I don't know yeah. if you've seen it. And yeah. then required Tombstones, ironically. <laughs> pretty ironic, right? I agree. Very, very, very ironic. ironic. Um, uh, and if you like this, you can actually see any video that we do early at bigsandwich.co where as soon as they're edited, they go up there before they go live here. But that's not the only thing that's going on there. Bonus podcasts. Yep. Movie commentaries. Yep. Video game Let's Plays. That's right. Other things. Well, our podcast, The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows, that actually comes out there Sunday as opposed to Monday, but that's got its own YouTube channel and the like. Or just subscribe here and hang around. Just hang around in the lobby. Just hang around. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Just mill about. We've got complimentary water. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's warm. Yeah. But it's free. What do you want? Yeah, what do you want? God. Yeah. All right, thanks, everybody. And grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Wait.